just spread joy wherever she go, wherever she went. It was, you know, it, our community is so heartbroken over it. Almost one week later, Stacy Van Hall fights tears, knowing her yeah, friend is gone. When she walked into a room, she lit it up. She had the most amazing smile. I hope I don't cry. Um, she, um, she loved to cook. She loved to bake. Van Hall says she and Christy Reball used to work together in Creston and says she always looked out for others. She says she will hold on to those memories. But for Rebecca Speaks, it's the memories of the incident that still haunt her thoughts. It became a nightmare. At first, uh, I asked my daughter if this was really happening. And she says, yes, mom, it's really happening. Speaks lives right next door to where police say 44-year-old Christy Reball was shot around 2 in the morning on June 19th. I went over and I seen the victim. Police say Reball was taken to the hospital here in Creston and then airlifted to Des Moines, where she later died from her injuries. 37-year-old Charles Keaton from Creston was arrested and charged with felon in possession of a firearm in connection to the case. He could face additional charges as the investigation continues. I know a lot of friends that do know them and um, he, uh, I don't think he would have done it on purpose. Adam DeCamp with the Division of Criminal Investigation says the cause won't be determined until the investigation is over. So we can't really comment on whether or not it was accidental, intentional or what the, uh, what the motive was behind it. For Speaks, she says she's not sure living here will ever feel normal again. I think I'm going to have to move before it gets to normal. Mm -hmm. And that's sad because I love this area.